Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. In this video I will show you how to make this beautiful cat rattle. Look at how pretty is this. I love the sleepy eyes. So good. It's so easy to make, it's fast and it's a great gift and I really, I really hope you enjoy this pattern. All right. So what you will need is a 2mm crochet hook. Uh, in this case I use 100% acrylic yarn, you can use a DK yarn or a light uh, worsted yarn and stuffing material. And you will have this beautiful result. Okay, so let's start right now. Here we have, we, I'm going to start with the pink, so whichever color you decide, you will chain 6. So here I have my slip knot and I will start making 6 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six okay so you'll jump the first chain and start crocheting in the second chain from the hook you'll make four single crochet and four single crochet inside the last chain so okay here i am in the second single crochet third and fourth. Now I arrive at here at my last stitch, my last chain, and here you'll make four single crochet. So one and two, three and four. And you see that I'm turning the foundation chain clockwise. So on the other side you'll work three single crochet and finish making three single crochet inside the last stitch. So one, two, three, And on the last stitch, this one right here, three single crochet. So let's go. One, two, and three. Okay, so this is the end of the first row of our of our toy oh my god okay so for the second uh, row for the second row here you are going to start with increase four single crochet one increase one single crochet one increase four single crochet one increase one single crochet having a total of 18 stitches at the end of this row so here's my first increase. So now four single crochet. Now my second increase. One single crochet, another increase, and let's move fast a little bit here. Okay, last increase, and finishing this row.
So moving on for the next row. So for row number three, we will start again with one increase, five single crochet, one increase, two single crochet, and repeat that again. So having a total of 22 stitches at the end of this row. So here I'm making my second increase. One, two, okay. Let's move on faster here. All right, my last increase. And two single crochet. So as you can see, we are adding four stitches in every row. Okay, let's move on. Next row, one increase, seven single crochet, one increase, two single crochet. And repeat that. One more time, having a total of 26 stitches by the end of this row. Here I am, my second increase, one, two, now two single crochet, and another increase. Okay, fast forward. So here, at the end of this row, two single crochet. Okay, good. Starting to see some shape here. So for the next row, you're going to start with one increase, nine single crochet, one increase, two single crochet. Repeat that one more time, having a total of 30 stitches at the end of the row. So here I am, my second increase, two single crochet, one and two, one increase, and moving on. Okay. Here I am, my last increase, and two single crochet. That's good, let's add our stitch mark here, great. So moving on for the next row, now for the sixth row, you're going to crochet four single crochet, one increase and repeat six times, having a total of 36 stitches at the end of the row. So now we are increasing six single crochet on each row. Okay. First increase here and let's continue. Okay, now I'm arrive here at the end of this row and moving on for the next row. Next row is super easy, piece of cake. We are going to crochet 36 single crochet. No increase, no decrease, just 36 single crochet, super easy. And it goes super fast also. So here we are at the end of the row.
and for the next row you are increasing again so for row number eight you will crochet five single crochet one increase and repeat that six times having a total of 42 stitches okay so let's move on quickly here because next row is again a piece of cake here I am at the end of my row one increase good so for next row again you're going to crochet without increases so just 42 single crochet for row number 9 there is a link in the description of this video to the complete pattern so you can check out is in my website so here we are at the end of row number 9 looking good next row six single crochet one increase repeat six times having a total of 48 stitches at the end of the row okay <laughs> i count my stitch in every row so i make sure of everything it's okay right we arrive at the end of the row and moving for next one next one is our last increase no next one we are not increasing we are crocheting 48 single crochet for row number 11 we will increase on the next one and it will be the last row with increases Okay, so for this one, just 48 single crochet. Okay. And now, yes. So for row number 12, you will crochet 7 single crochet, 1 increase, repeat 6 times, having a total of 54 stitches at the end of the row. This is our last row with increases. So here we arrive, end of the row, one increase. And okay, moving for the next row. Again, you're going to crochet all around without increase or decrease just a single crochet so for row 13 54 single crochet here I am at the end of the row And for next row, you will change your colors. So we will start working with the beige for the row 14 to 19 or with whichever color you decided to crochet your rattle. So for row number 14 to 19, you will work only single crochet. So 54 single crochet in every row. I do the change colors starting with the slip stitch, but if you know some other technique, if you use any other technique, you can use whichever you are familiar with. And if you don't know how to change colors, you can check uh, the blog post in the description below. I show you four ways, the four most popular ways to change colors in Amigurumi, and you can choose whichever is uh, good for you. So for me, it's this one. You start with a slip stitch and you continue crocheting normally as you would. So we continue working in the round and I will catch you up at the end when we will change colors again. So 
So I will meet you up at the end of these rows. Here you can cut your pink yarn and fasten off. I suggest you better do this now than when your toy is a little bit bigger and you cannot reach that anymore. So let's do this real fast and continuing. Okay, so I will see you at the end when we start decreasing. So here I arrive at the end of my row and now we will start with the decreases. So for row number 20, you will crochet 7 single crochet, 1 decrease, repeat this for 6 times and you'll have a total of 48 stitches by the end of this row. Okay, my first decrease. If you don't know how to invisible decrease, which is this technique that I'm using here, you can check my video tutorial uh, where I go slowly, step by step, how to invisible decrease. But basically, you'll take the front loop only of the stitches. So here I am at the end of this row. I'm gonna crochet my, now my last decreased, front loop only, yarn over, inside two loops, yarn over, inside two loops, okay? So here we go. So for the next row, we are going to decrease 12 times. So you will work two single crochet, one decrease, repeat 12 times and have a total of 36 stitches by the end of this row. Okay, so let's move on a little bit faster here. Okay, one single crochet and my last decrease for this row. And oops, two, yarn over, that's it. Nice, very nice shape. So we will go now for row number 22. One single crochet, one decrease, repeat 12 times and have a total of 24 stitches. This is the last row with the decrease. We will start our grip from the cat rattle on the next row. So let's move on here with this row. Okay, now I arrive at my last decrease. And that's it. You see, nice shape we can see. And now we'll start adding stuffing material in the head of, in the, head of the cat. because now you will start stuffing as you go, as you move with the rolls. So this is the shape of the cat, looking nice. Good, let's put our stitch mark here. And for next row, we will work front post single crochet. So for row 23, you will crochet 24, front post single crochet. If you don't know how to front post single crochet, there is a link in the description showing you exactly how to do this stitch. But basically you insert the needle from outside in to the work and then out again and you will do the front post single crochet. Um, in the description there is a link to every stitch that I use in this cat rattle so in case you don't know something you just go there and check it out what you don't want and it will take you to a complete tutorial showing you the stitch or the technique that I'm using to crochet this. 
and all of them with the pictures, descriptions. So it's a very easy and nice teaching you very slowly. Okay, so I'm arriving here at the end of this row. And this is the result. When you work the front post single crochet in this case of Amigurumi, you will see that you will start the grip here. You see it's up the stitch above the work. Now we will continue working with single crochet. Okay, so for row 24 to 26, you're going to crochet 24 single crochet and that's it. So let's move a fast forward a little bit because there is nothing new here. Just single crochet and I will catch you up in a couple of rows. So here I am at the end of row 26 and for next row we will do another color change. So I will start working with the pink again, you will start working with the color that you choose and we will start row 27 to 41, 24 single crochet with the pink. So here again I'm doing my color change. I start my color changes with a slip stitch and that's it. Okay, I will single crochet here and I catch you up a couple of rows above. Okay, now here I'm stopping a little bit just to show you that every now and then I start, I continue adding the stuffing material so it's nicer for me to work, like to have a better space to hold my work. So let me add a little bit of stuffing material here. I'm not gonna fasten off and cut the other color because again we will have a color change there so it's up to you if you want to change or not. So okay, so ta-da! I arrive at the end of the row with this pink color and I will do the color change to start my next row. So for the next row you will crochet 40, uh, 24 single crochet for rows 42 to 46. So five rows without increases or decrease. That's it, just single crochet. I will move to, to the end. Here I am at the end. My last single crochet. Now I'm going to change my color back to the pink. And for next row, you will work only in the back loop of the stitch. So for row 47, you will crochet 24 back loop slip stitch. If you need a complete tutorial for what is the back loop, um, how to make the slip stitch, there is all the tutorials in the description. So let's move here. Okay. My last stitch. Great. So now, very important, for next row you will work in this remaining front loop of the row 46. So you will crochet three single crochet, one increase only in the front loop of the row 46. You remember you did the row 47 on the back loop of the stitch. The row 48 will be in the remaining front loop. Okay, so here I am. Let's move fast a little bit. Ta-da! Here I am at the end my last increase this to work in the remaining front loop of the previous previous row will create uh, a nice changing of the color and the shape of the rattle so now for row 49 to 53 you will work 30 single crochet without increases or decreases
So super easy. I will catch you up at the end of row 53. So here I am, my last stitch. Okay. So for the next row, we will start decreasing. So you're going to work three single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and have a total of 24 stitches by the end of this row. Okay. My first decrease. Oops. Here, here. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, right? Okay, moving forward a little bit and I will catch you up at the end. Uh, here, my last decrease. Okay. Now for the next row, two single crochet one decrease, repeat six times and have a total of 18 stitches. Let's move forward. Here I am. End of the stitch, end of the row. Last increase, uh, decrease. Oh. And now I'm going to add a little bit of stuffing material because we will start our last row before fastening off. So for a last row, one single crochet, one decrease, repeat six times and have a total of 12 stitches. And then we're done. Okay, one more decrease. Let's fast forward this a little bit. And here I am. My last, last decrease. Okay, last row finished. Now let's fasten off. And there is a link in the description showing how I close my crochet toys. But basically I just insert my needle in the front loop of the yarn of the stitch <laughs> and I pull nicely at the end. So front loop of the stitch and let's move a little bit faster. Okay, here I am at the, my last stitch. Now I like to to fasten off nicely. I insert my needle in the last stitches. You can check in the video where I show you slowly how to do this and I fasten off my toy. Okay, cut the yarn. And here we have our body is ready. So let's move on and start the ears. For the ears, you will start with four single crochet in a magic ring. Okay, so let's start making here one, two, three and four. Close real tight and for a second row you will increase one and do one single crochet, repeat two times and have a total of six stitches. At the end of this row, we first increase okay. Mm 
now the third row. For a third row, you will start with increase, two single crochet, you repeat two times and have a total of eight, eight stitches at the end of this row. Okay, if your detail is curling to outside, you just take your time to adjust your stitches back on its place and continue working. This can happen because the stitches are very tight and the detail is very small. Okay, so let's move on to next row. Here you will start with one increase. Okay, let me... good. So one increase, three single crochet, repeat two times and have a total of 10 stitches. So as you can see here, the pattern is that we are adding two stitches in every row. So you have a nice shape of a little triangle for the ears. Okay, last stitch. Let's move on to our next row. For the next row, you start with one increase, four single crochet, and you repeat this again, and you have 12 stitches at the end of the row. Okay, magically I am at the end of my row. Let's move on to the next one. For row number six, you start with one increase, makes five single crochet, repeat that again, and have 14 stitches at the end of the row. So you understood me, right? You repeat that again. <laughs> okay, this row is done. Nice triangle ears we have. Moving on, next row. You again start with one increase six single crochet, repeat two times and have 16 stitches at the end. Okay, let's, oopa, let's fast forward. Here we are, at the end of the row and moving on to final row. So we are almost done. For row number eight, you start with one increase, seven single crochet, repeat that, and have a total of 18 stitches by the end of the row. Okay, and we've finished the year. That's it. Super nice triangle, right? Okay, let's cut this off. And for the other one, I choose to do with the other color that I'm working with. So I have one ear in each color. So you can choose and do whichever colors you want. Same colors, different colors. So now let's take our cat body and some pins to fasten the details. And here is the... I use some pins to fake a little bit the eyes so I have a better perception of where to add the ears. I fasten with pins. If you want to know exactly the position that I add the ears, there is in the pattern in the blog post, so check that out. Here I'm just looking what it looks like, fasting where it looks symmetrical to me, so later on I count and I give you the exact place that I sew my ears. So now let's start here. We start sewing the ears. I'm going to show you a little bit how, uh, how it's done and then I will move fast forward. So I catch my first stitch of the ear and one stitch of my toy. Okay, here I'm taking from a roll because I'm sewing up. So now move to the next stitch, 
it's very important that when you're sewing, you make sure that you're taking every stitch of the detail, okay? So I'm going sideways now, so under one stitch, because I will start crocheting the other side. Here, my next stitch. See how this one is almost hidden. Okay, now I will start going down. So I will take the stitch row by row. And one more stitch. And now you continue doing like this. So go sewing down, taking one stitch, uh, going down the rows and taking every stitch of the ear. So that's the important thing is to take in every every and each stitch of the ear. And from time to time I also stop to see if it, everything on it is on right position and making sure that everything it stay on its place. So you can do that also. Don't go sewing everything at once and then when you see at the end your ear is a little bit like, you know, leaning on the wrong position. So you stitch a little, you sew a little bit, you stop, you look, you see if it's nice, you continue sewing. So here I'm moving fast forward because it's a long process. Here you go to the side. To up. Every now and then I check, everything is nice, position are good. Almost there. The end can be a little bit tricky because again the stitches can tend to hide a little bit. It's harder to see them, but just go slowly and making sure you're taking all of them. So here I am at the last one. Super nice, and I start fastening off. This looks super good. Great. Nice, so let's fasten off this. Okay, cut the yarn, and now I will sew the other ear, and I will come back here. This looks super good. I like the results. Ta-da! Next one is done. So fast, no? <laughs> Great, they look super nice to me. And let's move on for the eyes. So for the eyes, I take a black thread. Oh, there is a mosquito in my screen. Okay, black thread. Make sure that it's secure. Let's hide this. Now for the eye, I see like, oh, this looks nice. And I'm using here four stitches there is in the blog post the exact position that i add the eyes here while i'm uh, embroidering i just do how it looks nice to me so at the end i count in which row in which stitch i i did the eyes so you can have the exact position so either you can check there out or embroider whichever position it looks symmetrical to you also if you want to use the safety eyes you can check the, you know, where it looks nice to you there also in the blog post. So now I move to the other side. Three eyelashes looks nice to me. And I will move faster here because you've seen. Just make sure that your eyes have the same amount of stitches length, you know. That's very important. So here are three lashes. Oh, so pretty. Now for the nose. You'll pick the central part of the toy and you will start embroidering a triangle. So this triangle will be above the color change. So it's still in the pink part. So here you make a triangle first. So 
here we finish our triangle and now you start embroidering horizontal lines so that will cover the transparency you see the pink part between the triangle that you just made a contour so I make here some lines now some diagonal eyes uh, <laughs> eyes diagonal lines so you can uh, make your triangle a nice and for the down part you're going to use one row so here I finish my nose you can just keep repeating repeating this until your triangle looks nice you know you just go making and making horizontal and diagonal lines so you have the nice triangle all covered so here let's just hide this okay it's hidden now we'll start embroidering the um, i don't know how you call this in english the snout hairs <laughs> so here i'm going to like where it can go where it can look nice okay i think here again in the in the pattern that i wrote there is the exact position here i'm just creating and seeing which place it looks nice to me so right under i will make one more and here one more i need to google how it's how is to call this and one more i will just make three three looks super nice to me and let's move to the other side okay the other side but how many stitches i have here mm. So let me cut one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more forward. Five. Great. So now I'll make the other side and I will catch you up when I finish this. Okay, this is looking so good. Oh, it's so cute. Let's fasten off this and. Ta da! Look how pretty is this cat rattle. Oh my goodness. So good, so beautiful. I really hope you enjoy and you were able to complete understand uh, the pattern. If you like the pattern, uh, consider subscribing to my channel. It will help me a lot. There is a bunch of patterns that I intend to shoot. And check out other videos. Bye!